Okay, so this is one of the big containers. That's one of the other big containers. There's another small one, right? Oh, this is it, okay. So it's packaged very nicely. Um, sometimes we'll get it cryovac and other places will do like the butcher paper and I find they both work great. The only difference being is this, if you forget to uh, defrost, you could soak this in the cold water and it won't make a mess where the butcher paper does. But either way, they both are great to um, keep like the uh, freezer burn out. Okay, so I'll just go through this quick because we're going to have to get it put away. It's like over 90 degrees today. So we get like um, chuck roast they'll give you. And let's see. We got a boneless ribeye steak. And here's Mr. Kane. So excited to see all the meat. Hey, baby. All right. Let's see. We got another ribeye. We got a nice brisket, and we got some, he's so nosy, some bone-in short ribs, and I like how they package this because this is enough, um, a beef shank where you can make like a big pot of soup with that, there's another one, but these are small enough for two people, sometimes if you're real hungry, one person. And I like that because one of the places we did get um, some of the stuff from the meat was like the ground beef were, and I think, what was it, two or two and a, two and a half, right? No, I think it was like two and a half pound packages. But either way, whichever. And then like a London broil we have. Another ribeye steak, um, some flat meat. That's a very good cut of meat. We got some blade steaks. Another thing of stew beef. And then, like this, is good for one person. This is the tenderloin cut into personal size steaks. So that's good because I don't like that. My husband does. We have like this big old chuck roast and I do like them because they do list the um, weight. Some of the places don't list the weight on there. So let me just go through this real quick for you. A bunch of this is all the same. So London broil, another beef rump roast, that's boneless, a New York strip, another one of those and then let's see what we have over here all right hang on one second all right i just had a oh move this over now this whole thing is full as well we have a chuck roast oh let's see top sirloin another ribeye a small skirt steak that's going to be really good for fajitas. Just my name. And then another roast. Certainly a steak. A flank steak. That'll be good for that as well. And of course, when you get. Um, like a quarter pound like we did you're gonna get a lot of ground beef as well and again I'm not showing you every single steak because a lot of them are the same so I'm just showing you the different variety that you get in here and these are some ribs all of this is ground beef down here Yeah. There's more sirloin. Okay, so the rest of this is all ground beef. And I know there are some hamburger patties in here, too. She said there would be. So those are one about one-pound packages. This is about a pound and a half. These are beef patties. And these are about a pound and a quarter. 
So that's good. Okay, so usually how this works is you'll want to find a farm um, and you're going to have to plan in advance. Um, usually it'll take anywhere, uh, depending on what time of year you contact them, from like three months I think this one was just over six months, so it depends. If you're doing it right at the end of summer or middle of summer, you might have to wait until the next spring. So it could be almost up to a year. So you want to plan in advance. You're going to contact your farm, and I just put my name on the list, and then when they're ready um, to do the slaughtering and the butchering, they will let you know. For these people, I had to put a $200 deposit down, and then... Um, they go by the hanging weight, so it's whatever it weighs, including the bones. Um, but you could get all the meat boneless. So, you know, you do have to pay. You pay a little more per pound or poundage than what you get. Um, but you could always ask to take all the bones as well if you have dogs, stuff like that. Um, they usually have some kind of bones in there as well. Uh, yeah, so... If you weigh it out and you um, compare it to the grass-fed meat in the stores, you're talking grass-fed ground beef could be on sale for like $5 a pound all the way up to the filet, which is like $27, $28 a pound for just the regular stuff, not even grass-fed. So this usually comes out to about 5 to $6 per pound once it's all done, said and done and everything, and he's excited. So it really does cost a lot less. It just takes up a lot of room, of course. So I just wanted to show you guys what it's like um, to be part of this. This is also where we're going to be doing our CSA this year. Well, actually, it's going to be the first time we ever do a CSA with vegetables. So we're pretty excited about that. So I'll do a haul. Um, it'll be a weekly haul. I'll be getting stuff from them. I think it's 16 weeks, something like that. So I hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> if you do, please give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe and share, and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.